I'm just gonna work on what I wanna do with the wiring for the lights, what lights maybe I'm gonna add in the future. And we're gonna get the roof loosened up, not take it clear off, but we're gonna put our overhead speaker system in. Yeah. Well, where do we start today? Let's just get something done. This baby right here. Um, and then that's gonna give us some more banks for to put some light switches or accessories or whatever we want to add in the future. Anyway, got some little wiring to do. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna start taking we're gonna start taking this headliner down. Okay. Get this headliner down. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'll get the other side. Okay. Okay, get these little guys. Okay, so I moved the roof back so I could access that part here. And we're going to see if we can get our overhead speaker unit in there. Okay, we ran into a little snag. These two holes here, which the roof anchors come down through. Um, this one right here just happens to be one of the anchors for this. So, in my grand scheme of things, I'm going to have to put this up there, anchor it with just this hole, go up above, drill these two holes through here. One might be just missing it. And then, to take this speaker cover off so I can get to the back side to put those two anchors in. Anyway, I think that's how it's gonna happen. We'll see. Okay, first I'm gonna take this speaker cover off. I have the right size drill bit. Okay, it appears to be that it's gonna be both speakers are going to come up yes okay so now in here we can just take this bracket off and I think that stud is long enough it'll go clear through and we'll be able to sandwich this up onto that stud the other or this stud here this anyway that's our plan we're going to take that bracket off on both sides take both speakers off Put it up there, anchor it, put everything back. All right. <laughs> They're glued on, that's why. Okay. We're gonna leave this one. I'm gonna take this one out on both sides because that's up with that hole there.
Okay. I took that bracket out on both sides. And now we're going to put it up here and see how everything lines up. Okay, it's up there. So pretty much all we've done is uh, set it up there and I have finger tightened this bolt and that bolt into this overhead deal just to hold it up there for now. We're gonna kind of look at how the wiring's gonna run and uh, but it looks like we're gonna end up tightening these down. We're going to, oh, if I can get through here. Gotta watch out. Um, we're gonna end up, when we put the roof back on, we'll be able, these two studs that stick for, through from the roof, I'm gonna be able to fasten it right there, but the other one I won't be able to get to unless I cut a hole out right here, which won't hurt anything, but, um, Anyway, that's what it's looking like. Okay, I'm tired of fighting this thing. I'm just going to go ahead and anchor these. Whoa, that's the wrong way. And that will... Just help out from things moving around on me. Okay. Okay, that's going to let us pull this input wire um, down that hole and out here. Shall we begin? Let me take this stud off. This little stud out of the way. Maybe we can see. Or maybe it's blocking the path. This is what it's looking like up here, just like that. Nice, clean. Now we're going to poke this under and across the dash. Now I'm gonna unwrap this from my yellow guide wire and we're gonna get it ran underneath and across and over to where we're gonna use this adapter to plug into my uh, stereo head. Okay, here we go. Another fishing expedition. See if I can reach in here and grab that. Yay! We got it. Ha ha ha. Get this pulled down. Okay, now I got my wire. And we have this adapter kit. And basically that will let us hook this. Which, can we, which one of these are we going to use here? It's going to be, they're marked subwoofer. Nope, we're going to do amp 2. That's what we're going to do. Okay, coming from our stereo ride command head unit, marked amp two, plug in, Ooh, doesn't want to go, plug it into, there we go, to the adapter, and then, I'll plug these two together, blue, the blue remote signal wire i can't do this and hold the camera at the same time but we're going to plug these two together just like that all right now we're going to do the same thing with that one and go nice okay now we need to tidy those up 
Okay, so I took a, a 7 8 hole saw and drilled through from a marking hole from the top and then I came in through the bottom and made me a hole so I can reach the two nut or the nut for the roof. Anyway, I missed my wire. I didn't get it. Did the same thing on that side. So now the roof can go on um, and I can access that nut with a socket. Okay, now I'm wrapped another bunch of wires in a nice big relay and everything. And this is all gonna tuck up inside of here. Goes up into the roll cage and down. And then I'm gonna get it going across and out to power there. And I just basically bundled up a bunch of extra wires for future use. They're just going to be uh, dead wires, but um, if I want to add on anything in the future, the wires are already ran. So, fun, fun. Okay, this is what we got going on. Now, we have battery power here coming out to a fuse. Here, I haven't got the fuse in there right now, but we'll put a 30 amp mini fuse in there. And then that goes through the fuse, back up, crossed underneath the dash, up the pillar, and up there to the relay. And then out of the relay, I have this wire here. So battery power up to the relay, and then I'll be able to trip this relay um, either with keyed ignition, um, or I'll have a master switch up here that'll turn it on so I can kill everything up here if I want to and let's see I have let's see we put a whole bunch of wires here we put uh, a red and a black two blue one large one small along with that battery power wire anyway they run back up through here down the pillar and then they go across over to right underneath the um, instrument cluster where I can use them later for whatever I want to use them for. Anyway, I got them all tucked up nice and neat in there, um, including the light wire that we wired up. And um, so I can add in another switch later and stuff. I have keyed hot here. And uh, I tucked down nice and neat there so that I can put this back in. In fact, we might just do that. We're going to start buttoning everything up here okay i'm gonna try a little trick um clean up ranger aisle one nice a little better all right we're gonna go on to uh putting this dude back together. okay here's what i'm doing here is i'm taking this wide tape and taping these wires down in that channel and uh, I'll keep them keep them protected and hidden and be perfect and we'll do the same thing with this side we'll lay these wires in that channel and put that tape over it then we'll have accessory wires down both sides for future add-ons okay we got everything buttoned up got our wires ran down into the corners taped up now we're gonna slide the roof back on and see if we can anchor it back down look at that mess look at that mess of wires and that mess of wires but it's cool it's gonna let us put lights on Okay, the roof is on and secured. And now we're gonna get into this access panel and get our wires at least this far. That way we can put our speakers back in. Okay, I feel pretty good getting everything pulled in here into the center. All right, we're gonna. Fasten these two sides up. We're going to leave this open for wiring. Uh, but I'm going to snap my fingers and put the speakers back in. Boom! Look at that. 
Now we'll try it. See if it makes some tunes. Maybe. concludes this episode.